everyone at uh, Sean's Hostel. Um, it is raining like cats and dogs. Uh, so today I'll be heading back out on trail to start the, the 100 mile wilderness. Uh, and unfortunately it's going to be later in today. I'm still waiting on my resupply box to get here. Uh, and that's all that's going to go into a resupply bucket with shawls that I'll pick up basically at the halfway point. So this way I don't, I don't have to carry like seven days worth of food. Um, which be huge, um, you know, after you've been out here through hiking for so long, you eat a ton. And seven days of food for me, yeah, that, that would just be like too much to carry. Um, so, uh, yeah, waiting for this resupply box to show up. Um, I'm just going to check out of, you know, the space that I'm staying in and I'll just hang here until I get the notification saying it got delivered to the post office around the corner. Fingers crossed that it'll, it'll be earlier than later. Uh, we'll see. Uh, then we'll get started. Really don't want to head out in the rain, but uh, it's supposed to maybe stop a little bit later this afternoon. Tomorrow it's supposed to be a lot better. Uh, and we'll see what happens. All right, everybody, here's the, uh, here's the rundown of what happened. So. My resupply box will not be in today. I walked over to the post office and talked to the nice lady working there. Very helpful. And she said, nope, won't be in today. So uh, I did a return to sender. And uh, just resupplied at Shaw's. So I grabbed three days worth of food and snacks at Shaw's. Uh, I think that combined with what I'm carrying, which is definitely more than four days worth of food, uh, should be enough to uh, take care of the 100 acre woods. Uh, the rest of the tramley has about uh, an hour, two hour head start on me. So I will catch up with them. Uh, but later on, you know, I'll be coming in behind them by a little bit. Um, the trail is sloppy, it's wet, uh, which is to be expected. Um, no big climbs or anything today, so fingers crossed we can get some miles in, uh, get some good miles in, and, uh, catch up with those guys a lot quicker. But here we are. <laughs> Coming up to the warning sign. 100 mile wilderness. So I am doing a food drop through Shaw's. Uh, they've got my three days that I resupplied with. And that's in the bucket. And I'll get that on the 23rd. I do have my return flight booked for the 1st. And that gives me about a day of wiggle room. I wasn't even counting today in that mix. So if I need to spend a day or so in Bangor, Maine, that'll work out. The other cool thing is uh, Toy Story's parents have rented a place in Millinock and uh, they want to throw us a little party when we get back. So looking forward to all of that. It's going to be very cool. Like I said, the trail is wet. This is like a little active uh, stream coming down as my foot slips. So I'm going to put my phone up so I can use my trekking poles and pay attention to what I'm doing. Welcome to the trail. Yeah, we have had a lot of rain the last few days. Definitely no problem finding water today. That's a trail. Nice little spring fed. It's amazing how uh, how this water, you know, or all this rain is right. Got everything flowing everywhere. And uh, I mean, on the trail, off the trail, little creeks and stuff are now, you know, big flows. Um, got a creek coming up. That might be a waist deep ford. So that should be pretty sporty. But um, 
everything is slick. I mean, slick like goose shit. I mean, even what you would normally walk down without a problem, it's slick. And, uh, you know, when you get a push off on your toes, you just feel, feel your foot slide. So I am being extra careful. Extra careful today. Don't want to fall and, uh, you know, something happen out here. Yeah. Finish strong. All right, let me get across this little obstacle. You got it, Bravo. You got it. Just take your time. Keep facing upstream. Move towards the upstream. Don't work with the current. All right, here we go, folks. Going in. All right, hey, that was a little Wilson stream. And uh, we got Big Wilson coming up. And then Mr. Wilson. And then Tool Time Wilson. Tom Hanks Wilson. No, it's just, uh, I guess Big Wilson's next. And I've been told that... Uh, I mean, that was knee-deep there. Uh, it could be way steep up at Big Wilson. So, we'll play it by ear. And uh, safety is number one. But we got a few miles to go before we get to that. All right, time to get trucking. Haven't seen one of these in quite some time. Uh, about two miles out from stopping. Keep pressing on. I'll just give you a rundown of today. It's about three or five thirty now. Uh, yeah, you know, train's been a little challenging. We had three water crossings. Uh, all unsuccessful. Nobody got swept away. Um, but it's been ups and downs. Uh, wet, muddy, slick. So, yeah, going has been slow, pretty slow. Good thing is, is that you can always find a water source. Ta-da! So like water sources everywhere. Somebody forgot their shit here. Probably too small for me. Alright. Now you can see here how muddy it is. So because of that, you know, we're moving a little bit slower. And like I said, it's been ups and downs. Puds all day. Uh, really nothing of note to look at. So looking to get into close to 15, I guess. I'm about 13 right now. And uh, got a couple places in mind. I'm gonna start looking 
when I get there for camp spots. Uh, cool thing is we're all kind of hiking together. Ledge is kind of falling behind because he's sick. And Platinum's back with him because she's kind of sick. Uh, my knees are hurting. <laughs> but, you know, that's par for the course with the ups and downs. Whether or not I feel okay. Now tomorrow, I'm supposed to have a good day until the evening. Then there's rain that lasts until the morning. So I will do everything in my power to uh, keep my tent from getting wet. I have, a, I have a feeling it's going to get a little damp tonight because of the ground. Because uh, there's some areas that my shower curtain footprint don't cover. Um, so yeah, it might get damp some spots. But we'll work around that. My first day in a 100 mile wilderness is coming to a close. Come to a close pretty soon. And that's what we're trying to hit 15s for the first 60 miles. And then uh, evidently you can crank on the last 40. So that's kind of the plan. We'll see how well it works out. All right. Phew, time to walk. Okay, well, that's uh, day one for the 100 mile wilderness. Uh, camp spot here next to a creek. Uh, multiple creek crossings today. Uh, shoes are soaked, pants are soaked, you know, shirt and everything is soaked because of sweat. <clears throat> but we got through it. Um, so just gonna crash out tonight and, uh, you know, we'll get started again tomorrow. But, uh, I think it's about, it was close to like 15 miles today, 14, 15 miles. Not bad, you know, considering a late start and, uh, you know, and all that, all that thrown in there. So, but it's kind of staying on track with the mileage that we need to do out here. But, uh, yeah, I think that it's about it for tonight. So, I'm tired. We can get to bed. Uh, we saw the terrain that we went through today. So, it was, you know, ups and downs and stuff like that. And that'll, that'll wear you out. All right, so that's about it for tonight, and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow for day two. Talk to you soon.